Welcome, I'm Chris Chase with the Western Flyer Foundation. And this is another in the series of story shorts and outtakes from the Western Flyer. And this one we hear from Ray Troll. Ray Troll is a good friend of mine and a great friend of the Western Flyer Foundation. He's been on the uh, advisory board for the foundation almost since its beginnings back in 2015. If you're not familiar with Ray Troll, he is an artist coming from Southeast Alaska, Ketchikan, Alaska to be exact. He is an artist, illustrator, scientist, paleontology nerd, and an unbelievable educator. I really highly recommend looking him up. But in this outtake, this is from an interview I did with him back in uh, early 2021 on the actual Western Flyer. He reads from the log from the Sea of Cortez. And the passage he reads really builds on what Jordan said in episode one and what Bill Gilley said in episode two, that unconscious memories of our ancestors, that connection back to the past. So anyway, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. I, when I read this and I thought about this and uh, I would do uh, lectures, you know, I'd do slideshows of my artwork and I began to realize that this was kind of a nice note to, to end on and I would actually read this. And then I realized I've got to have an image that works with this. And then I adapted some of this older artwork to, to say this. And so I do have a t-shirt now. And I approached the Steinbeck Foundation to see if it was okay, they'd be cool with me using a Steinbeck quote, and this is the quote. If I may, sir. <clears throat> it is a strange thing that most of the feeling we call religious, most of the mystical outcrying, which is one of the most prized and used and desired reactions of our species, is really the understanding and the attempt to say that man is related to the whole thing related inextricably, inextricably to all reality, known and unknowable. This is a simple thing to say, but the profound feeling of it made a Jesus, a St. Augustine, a St. Francis, a Roger Bacon, a Charles Darwin, and an Einstein. Each of them in his own tempo and with his own voice discovered and reaffirmed with astonishment the knowledge that all things are one thing, and that one thing is all things. Plankton, a shimmering phosphorescence on the sea, and the spinning planets, and an expanding universe, all bound together by the elastic string of time. It is advisable to look from the tide pool to the stars, and then back to the tide pool again. <laughs> 